buddy. You ready to go, buddy? Yes. You wanna go tree some coon? Yes. Do you think Prophet will find one? Yes. <laughs> good. I'm glad you're having a good time, buddy. You like going coon hunting? Yes. Can you say anything besides yes? Um. <laughs> nah. I love you and I love play with you and I like how much fun to go cool hunting. I love you too, buddy. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Winter's definitely set in here. So I'm just out here in the kennel doing some cooking for the dogs, giving them a nice warm meal. I also want to say a big thank you to those out there who joined my Patreon page. There's been a lot of you joined lately and I really appreciate it. And that's where I'm putting all my content from now on early. There's going to be a Hounds of Spotlight released once a month. But if you join on Patreon, you can see them all at once. I also have live video podcasts every Saturday at 1. So if you want to see these videos early and get exclusive access to the podcast, make sure you check out my Patreon. And the link is in the description below. And tonight's video is going to feature both the young dogs I've been hunting. Um, Tony the Blue Tick will be the first one we talk about. And also Prophet, the other walker I've been hunting for Randy Smith. And starting off with Tony, uh, as many of you know, he's out of Country Club, which is a Hall of Fame Blue Tick out of Big Country, who is owned by Matt Lingo and Terry Tappy. You've seen Country Club on here before. He's a really nice blue dog. And Tony's turned out to be a pretty good blue dog too. I'm excited to share this with you and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I think he found one. God, that's beautiful. Just what I figured. There's a willow den here on the other edge of the swamp. We're here all the time. slammed him on. He did a good job on that one. Struck and treat it and just got him off of there, recut him. He's about 200 yards away right now.
Well, he did another really good job there. Treed another den, couldn't see inside that one, but the way he is, he doesn't just grab trees. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one inside of it. I need to get some sort of like camera on a stick or something. That way I can stick it in there and see what's in there. So that was just a few hunts with Tony we've had here lately. He's been doing really good and he hasn't been hunting as much as profit, but he doesn't really need it. At the time you're watching this video, he's right at a year old and he's been consistently treeing coon for me every time I take him out. So I know he's gonna make a good one. And now we're gonna move on to profit. As many of you know, profit, his full name is Lone Pine False Profit. He's owned by Randy Smith, and he's out of world champion Davis's Rosedale Frogger and out of world champion Lone Pine Biffy Sue. He is right at 11 months old at the time of watching this video, and he's treated over 70 coon for me in the last four months. Really, really nice hound. You've already seen him on here before. If not, I hope you enjoy watching. He's a really special young dog. He looks great and sounds great. So here he is. That didn't take long, cut him loose, went about 170. He's in there treed. in that hole right there good job buddy well he did a good job here he's just staring at him now got him in here in this bunch of cinder blocks and looks like an old foundation to a building he's got a coon in there well, he's looking great so far he's treed two in a row just walked him about 10 or 15 yards away from where he just was and cut him on the edge of this woods He's about 200 yards in there now, so we can see if he can treat three in a row here. Not bad for 11 month old pup. Well, I'd say three in a row for a dog under a year old. Pretty good. So we'll probably get out of here and call it a night while he's perfect. Yep. Okay. Well, but you, but mine's working a little. So the first tree Poker Face made was a den tree. We got him off of there and recut him. Uh, Profit ended up treeing a few hundred yards in front of us and had a coon. And at this point, it had been raining and really misty and nasty out. So I took some video with my phone because my bigger camera was not working right. There was something wrong with it. So you just have to live with a little bit of lower quality footage. It's not terrible. You can kind of see what's going on. But Profit had a coon and then at that time we're checking his tree over. Poker Face was treed and he also had a coon. So at that point we got the dogs rounded up to go to one more spot and see what they could do. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Protect it over here. Dream.
We cut the dogs, they ran in there, hustled hard, sounded good. Prophet ended up treeing one inside of a den tree, you could see. And Poker Face ended up treeing way out on a fence row, on a den tree. I'm sure he had one too. It was just a rough night overall, but they operated and looked really well. And now there's just one more night I'd like to share with you with Prophet. It was another quality night, and I hope you enjoy it. Trying to tree now, he struck, opened just a little bit. Took about 200 yards, started locating. There he is. Go in there and see what he has. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 